legend that I respected in the poker world, leaving the music world and going over to the poker world. I literally, I was in Mexico last week, so I did not know that Doyle Brunson um, actually passed away. And Doyle Brunson probably is what brought what poker is today in this amazing, like, it's, it's like a NASCAR race when it's the WSOP and it's the, uh, you know, annual tournament where people win basically about $9 million if you can be the best poker player for that year. And Doyle Brunson goes all the way back to the 70s, back when No Limit Hold'em, if you don't know what No Limit Hold'em is, that's probably the most po popular poker game today. But he goes way back to the days when it was five-card stud, when my grandparents and my parents would have their friends over on a weekend night, and they would play cards and, you know, watching them on a little folding table. But coming back to, to what Victoria was saying earlier about what makes somebody an icon, and I can tell you that Doyle Brunson, I mean, has won over $6 million. He's won 10 bracelets. He's made 26 final tables. I mean, one of the greatest poker players of all time. He's written several books. And, and you talk about, you know, Ed, when you were talking about those systems, he wrote the super system for poker and has, I mean, helped my brother make a living out of it for a couple of years. And, and I'm not talking about like anybody can challenge that poker's gambling, but it is a sport and the people that really study it made lots of money. My brother made a living for a couple of years just on poker and made a great living. Um, and so everybody who's playing is putting their own money in it and they all want to win this, the, the big thing. And it's like a sport. So anyway, my brother had won uh, a trip to Hollywood where we were going to basically see like the Oscars of poker and, and they have scoring and ranking throughout the season and who's got the best scores, who won the most consistent tournaments. I mean, there's a whole organized thing behind poker. And so we got to go to the red carpet, like literally my brother won a tournament and we had the limo pick us up. We were in tuxes, went to the, you know, the Oscars of poker um, and red carpet, getting our picture taken. I mean, like some like Jordana the other day when she was on the red carpet, that's exactly what it was like. And uh, we literally got to meet the greats of the greats, all the poker players that are on TV, um, Negranu, uh, Phil Helmuth, Phil Ivey. Uh, Doyle Brunson and got to meet and just like hang out with these people at a hotel in Hollywood. And they're just normal people. I mean, we talked to Jennifer uh, Harmon for like, I don't know, for like an hour. And Negrano, we talked to for like an hour. They're just cool people. And Brunson, there's something about someone that is humble. I mean, we're talking, he wrote the book and he started poker and he won two national championships back to back. He has a card hand named after him. It's the 10 and the deuce. And because he won two World Series of Pokers back to back year to year with a 10 and a, and a two, and they both turned into full houses. It's That's just unheard of or just totally crazy to even think about that uh, three more tens and a two would pop up on uh, something that's worth millions and millions of dollars. So anyway, to kind of pull that all together, he would, like when he entered a room, I mean, it was like you're the wisest grandfather of all grandfathers just showed up and it was total respect. Like he never, he never let it get to his head. He was always calm and he would, I mean, it's like Ed just said, when you walk into the room, I mean, you just felt at peace with he with him there. So, man, these people show up everywhere. And no matter what it is, no matter where you are, somebody's got, you know, a lot of time in being the best at whatever they ended up being the best at or love to do. And it really shows when they just carry themselves with, um, just humbleness and you, you just wouldn't know that this is the guy, right? So just like Sid does, I mean, I, I can't even imagine just bumping into Sid at home. I think you could walk past Sid in a Walmart and he would smile at you as he was not going by, you know, if he kind of knew who you were or he would stop and say hi. So it's just, you know, that's what I love about hanging out in this room because, uh, 
I mean, for the most part, I think a lot of us, we have some people pop in and pop out and, and they get on Tony's nerves every once in a while, pop in, share and pop back out, you know, but it's like, and again, they might have something else, another room that they have to go to, but you can, you know who the people are when you're here in this room. So um, anyway, that's where I'm going to put that on the poker world. The red carpet sounds like just another day in planet corn though, to be honest. I think uh, red carpets every day, baby. I think Brad has his house uh, covered in red carpet. That's just what I, that's, that's what I envision. <laughs> <laughs> the red, red carpet king. Uh, no, but that's awesome. And again, red shag carpet, people. red shag carpet, <laughs> the red shag carpet. Red shag. <laughs> nice. Well, Fuzzy nice hanging thing. off the mirror of the pontoon boat. Yeah. Uh, that's that's great. Yeah, the fuzzy carpet on the pontoon boat. Listen, and I think it's great. And that's just an example of exactly what we're talking about, that there's different icons and different people. And people impact people's lives in different ways. I mean, we're talking about poker. I didn't think I was going to hear about a poker player today. But yet, this guy impacted Brad's life. Not just Brad's life, but Brad's brother's life. Uh, so how cool is that? And again, there's, there's an opportunity to be the best you can be anywhere on anything. It's, but it's it, it's like that whole thing of stop trying to be somebody else. Be the best you that you can be because that's who you're designed to be. That's who you're made to be. That your life experiences are creating who you are uh, to be the best that you can be. So just live into it. Step into it. Don't be afraid of it. All right, we're going to go to Sid because I know he's traveling and he's uh, he's got a little, little space to be able to chat with us. So good morning, Sid. What's up, brother? Good morning. Good morning, and thank you, Brad, and everyone who mentioned my name. I will say that 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 to me seems that that's what allows someone to become iconic is being someone that people feel called to mention your name when you're not asking to be mentioned. 